I am inside a decomposing redwood. All right, can we keep going? How many people in their lives can say that they crawled through the heart, the mitral valve of a decomposing redwood? And I actually got a little dirty doing it. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. I am in Humboldt Redwoods State Park in Scotia, California, I'm getting a little R&R &R recovering from my sickness. I think it's about two hours north of where I was working in the Clear Lake area. I'm about to go on this Avenue of the Giants auto tour. And from the looks of it, it's free. You just drive through 32 miles of parallel old growth redwood prehistoric style forest that parallels Highway 101 in California. It's got really good reviews on Google and that's just what I'm gonna be doing today is exploring this. But it is beautiful. And this guy behind me looks like he was uprooted maybe from maybe Hurricane Irma. Let's go inside. Good thing I got my hiking shoes on. Ooh, can you go through here? Are you supposed to go through here? Okay, just went back to the car. Got a headlamp so I can go in here. There aren't really any signs that say don't touch the trees or don't climb on the dead trees. And I'm doing this in a very respectful manner. Like I'm not carving the trees, I'm not picking on the trees, I'm not burning the trees. I'm just exploring and touching the beauty of this tree. Like I'm on, oh, wow, I'm in the redwood. I'm in a decomposing redwood. Are you serious? What do we got down here? Oh, I don't think I should be crawling through here. This is so cool though. All right, I definitely, want to go through there can you see that i want to go through there this is actually really cool but i think you have to have an appreciation of simple things like nearly complete solitude like it's just me the redwood and the camera and that's it and these are actually really cool and i'm like i'm pretty high like i'm probably a good I'm probably a good eight feet off the ground right now and I'm not even up there yet. This is Redwood Parkour. Bear proof trash can, rock memorial of Blue Star Highway. We have map number one, which gives us an overview of the state park. We've got map number two, which gives us some history. And then we get our auto tour pamphlet pickup. So this is like a really, really loud, but a really laid back way to go see some redwoods. Anybody could drive through here and do this. It's accessible to anybody, ambulatory or not. Bear proof trash can, rock memorial of Blue Star Highway. We have map number one, which gives us an overview of the state park. We've got map number two, which gives us some history. There's some history. There's some history. And then there's some more history and maps. Don't touch the poison oak. And then we get our auto tour pamphlet pickup. So this is like a really, really loud, but a really laid back way to go see some redwoods. Anybody could drive through here and do this. It's accessible to anybody, ambulatory or not. Okay, I'm kind of understanding how it works. There are these different groves, they name them, and you can park and there's little pull offs to park where you can park up here and then you can just follow some walking trails that aren't really marked, but you just kind of go back into the forest and just do your redwood things. You hike, you walk, you look at some of the wildlife, and it's actually pretty spiritual out here. It's very quiet and meditative. What we have right here is a banana slug who is slowly but surely composting the forest floor. And what I mean slowly, 
Despacito. Despacito. Quiero respirar tu fuego despacito. So I found the actual trail and it is handicap accessible. So FYI, this is what we're gonna do. A 2% typical grade, four and a half foot width and compact soil. No dogs, except for service dogs and not the service dogs where you get the vest from eBay. <laughs> So basically what this sign's talking about is the Europeans uh, arrived 150 years ago. They were tearing down the redwoods, building all their houses and buildings and stuff. And in the, uh, in, back in the, in, in the 1980s, they've started to replant little seedlings that they pull off the ground. They check them for genetic purity. They grow it outside the forest and then they bring them back in the forest to transplant them. And they're constantly bringing more trees in. So not all the trees here are actually grown here. They're just either transplanted or they're natural. So this is the hike that we're going on right there. It's about two and a half miles and one hour minimum. This is a very well manicured trail. Look at that chainsaw right there through the redwood that was blocking our path. Yeah, very well packed level. Definitely could get a wheelchair through here. Is it a sign? Is it a redwood? Or is it a bench? The trail is easily marked and recognizable just by the, but there are little parts that jet off. Let's just take it in. Here's a fallen giant. Total evidence of people making making their way stairwise with the natural to get an Instagram picture up there. Kind of like this. Kind of like that. Is it a redwood? Or is it a bench? Okay, so here's the loop part of the trail where you go that way or that way and then you connect here and you go back that way. I totally get what they're talking about, like feeling prehistoric with the ferns and it's just so quiet. There's not even like birds. It's just literally like I hear the dripping from the rain from earlier today and then faint sounds of birds sometimes. I don't know how the vastness, like the scale of the trees are showing up on camera. They range anywhere from maybe like a foot or two in diameter to like eight feet in diameter. And these aren't even like the biggest ones. I think like the big, big ones are like its own attraction where you have to like go pay. There's like one I think you drive through. I don't know if I'm gonna do that one. People are definitely climbing this one too. Kind of like this. This rebel got skinned. I don't know what's going on with it, but the bark is missing on that entire east half of it. It's crazy. So here's a downed redwood. And if you were, a, I don't know, like a three-year-old to a eight-year-old, you could just have a blast like climbing on these things. I mean, crawling underneath. This goes actually to the other side. You crawl up and out here and then back on the trail. In case anybody cares how I'm getting all these shots, I got this giant slick tripod with me that I'm slinging over my shoulder. Um, my shoulder doesn't really hurt anymore. I don't know why. It was hurting yesterday really bad. The day before pretty bad and then earlier today. But right now I'm feeling like my mobility is way better. So I might go to the gym later today if there's any time fitness around this forest. Back at the trailhead. It was a good hike. It took me about an hour and maybe 15 minutes when I was stopping to film things. Very easy, very beautiful. This would be absolutely gorgeous to bicycle tour on, and I think Cody did do it. The Avenue of the Giants that parallels 101 on his American bicycle tour. He rode down from Seattle to San Francisco and then flew back to Australia. If you haven't already checked out his bicycle touring videos, check them out. I'm gonna leave a link to his playlist. I think I'll find his American bike tour playlist. So I'll leave a link to his American bicycle touring playlist. Cody rode this. I'm almost certain Cody rode this at some point during his American Bicycle Tour, and that must have been a phenomenal experience. And subscribe to Cody's channel. We jive on a lot of the same stuff, very similar energy, and he's in Australia. So yeah, there was a city called Dryerville, Dyerville, that was like right here, and it got swept away by that river over there. Various signs explaining ecology, the animals, ecology, the trees, the vegetation, and whatnot. Across over there is rock called Rockefeller Forest because the Rockefeller family donated a lot of money, I think like a billion dollars, to help purchase the land because he was so enchanted by it. And that's the forest that has seven times the amount of bio, biology, like bioactivity, 
than rainforest with animals and trees and organisms and things like that. I wanna figure out how to get down there. There's a van life down there and another person down there. And if I can get down there, I found out how to get there.